All right, you got sumo deadlift. Very similar to the traditional deadlift. The only difference is that Matt's going to have a really wide stance. Toes are going to be pointing out slightly. And then his hands are going to go between his feet. All right? So he's going to drop straight down. He's got the over-under grip, but he still has that neutral spine. We're still going with the three rules of deadlift. You're going to, the bar's going to be in constant contact with your body. You're going to have a neutral spine. And uh, your hips, your shoulders, and the bar all move at the same time. So Matt's got his head in a nice neutral position. He's going to stand up tall, squeeze his butt. Stand up nice tall and return to the bar to the floor, keeping contact with his body. All right, real great movement. This is how you're going to pick up your pack. Because this is how you're going to pick up your pack and get it to your back. So this is why we're doing the sumo deadlift. It's a lot easier, a lot safer uh, for the beginners doing a deadlift. So show them a couple more times, Matt. Squeeze this butt, good. And back down. A couple common mistakes in the deadlift is what we call the stripper deadlift. Matt's butt comes up first, and then he just all lower backs. So we don't want that. We want the hips, the shoulders, and the bar moving all at the same time. Good. And then another common mistake in the deadlift is that Matt's going to come up to the top, and he's going to lean way back, and don't do it too much. There we go. We don't need that. Just stand up nice and tall. So, if the bar's in constant contact with your body the whole time, if you have a nice neutral back, and if your hips, your shoulders, and the bar are all moving at the same time, you're doing the deadlift right. Do it right, do it right, and you'll stay safe and stay healthy and be able to hunt in the fall. All right, you guys, that is Zoom on Deadlift.